And that really is the whole basis of how this scam can be played. A few can only control the many when the many are manipulated to control themselves. When there's a few and you want to uh, control a mass of people, you can't do it physically. There's just too many people. But you don't have to. For me to do that, my mind has had to decide to do it. In other words, my physical behaviour, my physical actions come from my mind. Therefore, all you have to do is program the people to believe your version of reality and the people will do exactly what you say as a result of that and see the world the way you want them to see it. And if you take the analogy of a, a herd of sheep, it's perfect, except the human herd has taken it one step further. If you wanted to uh, control a herd of sheep and, and, and round them up, and you wanted to do it physically, impossible. I mean, look at those two pigs that went runabout a few years ago in Britain. Took them a week to find these pigs. <laughs> because you can't do it physically. If you want to round up sheep every night physically, you need six or seven blokes for every sheep. Even then, they wouldn't be uh, guaranteed to get it. But you don't do it that way. Two states of mind round up millions and millions of sheep all over the world every day. One, the bar bar mentality. Just following the one in front without question. Ba 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 ba. And none of the sheep go, hey, excuse me, you're at the front. Where you going? The guy probably turned around and go, I don't know, really. I just walk every day and all these people follow me, like, you know. So the, the vast majority of sheep are rounded up by the bar bar mentality. Bar bar. You see it in the, in, in the human sense with Aopa Dave. He, 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 he's a professor at university. He must know what he's talking about. He's the prime minister. He wouldn't do that. Bar 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 bar. And then you've got the few in the sheep herd that don't want to um, just follow the one in front without question. They're having a good time. They want to munch over here. No, you go. I'm, I'm staying here. This is good. And they are rounded up by the four-letter word that controls the world, fear. Symbolized by the sheepdog. Row, row, row. Oh, they're in. And those two states of mind, bar, bar, unthinkingly following the one in front, and fear, round up millions and millions of sheep every day, no problem. Now we have gone even one step further. We, the human herd, have dispensed with the sheepdog we frighten each other into lying. And once you're in that mentality, a very simple process is possible, and it's been going on for thousands of years, it's going on to this minute. All you have to do, if you're a manipulator, is to set the norms in society. What is considered good and bad, sane and insane, possible and impossible, moral and immoral, right and wrong, and you set them, you pound them out through what we laughingly call the education system. Crikey, isn't it great if we had an education system where people are educated? Um, and you pound them out through the media, and they become the norm. But just because people don't question. So that sets a mental and emotional sheep pen of norms. The vast majority of people, bar bar, whole life in there. Well, everyone knows that. This is how it's done. Everyone knows that. Well, I don't bloody know it. There's one less than everybody. And then there's the few, in, in, in increasingly more, but the, the few uh, compared with the, the people in the bar, bar mentality who actually have sussed that this sheep pen of norms is actually incredibly limited and fundamentally flawed. What happens? They start to act differently. They start to have a different view from the norm. And what happens? They get ridiculed and condemned for the crime, which is what it's become, of being different. And any society which makes it a hassle, a gives people a bad time, makes it a crime to be different, is a society based on psychological fascism, and that accounts for virtually every nation on earth. So once you get to the edge of that hassle-free zone, you've gone as far as you can within the norms, and you know if you go any further, you're going to get some serious hassle. 
What's going through people's mind? It's not, hey, if I do, what will Tony Blair think about me? What about George Bush? What do you think about me? Oh my God. No, no. What's making people fear expressing their uniqueness, speaking their truth, is what will my mother think? What about the neighbours? What about the people at work? What about the guys down the bar? They'll take the piss. In other words, what frightens those that wish to get out the pen to staying in is fear of what those in the pen will do and say if they get out. And that simple structure, if it was dismantled by us feeling uh, okay and indeed encouraging people to express their uniqueness instead of being a clone of some norm, this edifice of manipulation would crash at its foundation because the few can't control the many, they've got to manipulate the many to control each other. That's what I say, the power is not with these guys, it's with us, but we give it away. This is, a, this is an exclusive picture of the latest clone human, just come off the... That's the kind of people they want. And you know, what well, Ralph said to me, and Ralph, great guy, he's done fantastic work to get this going and make this happen against a lot of odds who, from people who didn't want it to happen. Um, he said to me, when I, just before, he said, you know, I've just seen the audience. It's like a profile of Britain. He said there's every culture, every colour, every age group. Exactly. Because these divisions of race, of age, of background, of income bracket, they're all illusions. They're all fault lines through which to divide and rule us.